Assalamualaikum Hi everyone Welcome to Himan's Life And today again Another kind of uh, breast pump review But this one specific for silicone breast pump AKA a manual breast pump So uh, without further ado Let's go and check out the review then I would like to compare two types of silicone breast pump which is uh, from Haka the original the one the founder of um, silicone breast pump and another one is from autumn autumn silicone breast pump it looks uh, more or less kind of similar but um, functionality wise totally different because I'm gonna jump to a conclusion that between these two I prefer Haka silicone brush from because the silicone wise this one more more or less steady and firm and this one is too squishy and it doesn't hold or press your areola or uh, surrounding the nipple areola very well so and then the other part is i think the type of silicone is totally different um the second one is the opening here the Hakka one is slightly larger compared to the uh, Autumn. So um, the first thing that why I bought this too, it is because the first month after I delivered, my baby didn't lash very well. So it's very poor latching. So it hurt my nipple and the surrounding bleed uh, badly. So one of my friends recommend me to, you know, instead of pumping, um, direct lash why don't you use um, silicone breast pump so I said okay but which brand uh, she said there is a variety of brand um, and she actually uh, recommend me Hakka but you know you can still find another cheaper so, um, type of silicone breast pump at first I ordered this one but then because there is a very nearby baby shop so I go and grab the autumn because I need to use urgently because this one is gonna take around three days uh, three working days so um, I skip it so I said okay why don't we just get the cheapest one and then try out whether it works or not and uh, because of the opening is too small and my nipple is bleeding so the surface really touching on on that part so it's really really hurt where else when i'm using the haka one so it doesn't really squeeze on the on the bleed side so it's really such a lifesaver for this one and apart from that it has a suction down here so whenever after you pump you just put on the table or that is able to suck so it will stand still compared to autumn which is it doesn't have anything but it works just well it's just the opening and the type the quality of the silicone is um for me it's too cheap i think around 23 uh, 23 ringgit compared to haka this one i bought from um baby dash uh, I can't remember totally the price. I think around 60 plus. But I think it's worth the money that you spend here rather than this one. And because of the silicone slightly firm. And it has a kind of long neck up here. So um, I really like this part compared to this. It's very short neck. So the nipple it doesn't really onto the part here. So what I have to do I really really have to squeeze all the way up here and then put my nipple inside. And where else this one? Um you know if you go further it's much much bigger opener compared to autumn. So overall I think um it's good to spend just a little bit of money on the better quality of um, silicone breast pump so this is the winner the haka so the original breast pump that invented compared to autumn so i hope that this one really helped mama out there who looking for silicone breast pump who has a very painful nipple due to poor latching and i hope this review helped you guys and hope to see you guys soon bye